Well, we keep hearing it. We need more people to take on careers in the trades. And local electric companies say current electricians are retiring faster than they can be replaced. Shaw Electric is responding to that and trying something to get more students interested in the field. Julian Vandervelli from Shaw Electric is here. Uh, Julian Vandervelde, I don't think I pronounced all the consonants in your name. Thank uh, you so much does. for being here today. My pleasure. I, I'm, I'm a little intimidated having to follow the cutest guest Teddy. I think you guys have ever had in you know Teddy. What? But you're not alone. Everybody feels that way, including yeah. me. He was the star <laughs> of the show. So um, you guys just held your first ever Shaw University. In fact, uh, one of our reporters covered it, um, and we aired that story at 6 p.m. last week. It just seemed like a, a fabulous day. Uh, where did you come up with the idea for Shaw University? and what is it that happens there? Well, so Shaw Electric's been around for 80 years. We're in our fourth generation of ownership uh, through the Shaw family, and so we've seen kind of the ups and downs with the trades and the mm -hmm. trends that go on. Uh, last year, we were fortunate enough that West Branch High School reached out. They had a student who had uh, qualified for the Skills USA uh, Championship, which is kind of a trades uh, wow. competition here in the state. And uh, we are a member of Associated Builders and Contractors. We're a merit shop. We're a very highly regarded and award-winning shop. So they said, hey, can we send this kid to you and you work with him for a couple of weeks and get him ready for this competition. Uh, after we had finished that, we thought, this is cool. I wonder if his class would like to see what he's been up to. So we brought about 20 kids from West Branch down. They got to kind of hang out with us for about half a day and see what we did. And we just kind of after that decided to expand on it. I thought, how can we bring this about to more schools, to more kids, give more people who might be interested in the trades a deeper look, more than just you might get at a, a little like, you know, five minute booth at job fair sort of deal. Absolutely. I mean, what a unique way to have gotten into this sort of outreach among mm -hmm. students, um, if you will, because I think for so long, I know possibly when you and I um, were in high school, the track was simply, you know, try to get into college, go to college, go to college, find a career after you go to college. And, you know, now we're seeing, especially in our area, manufacturing is really like the bread and butter here in the Quad Cities. Uh, that aside, I mean, the trades, it, it's like you can learn something different. You can excel at that. You can, you can have a fabulous career doing that. Absolutely. And I think that was one of the coolest things about this was, aside from the fact that they had a full day yeah. of practical application, hands-on training in what electricians actually do, we also had a panel over lunch where we had uh, electricians that are a part of our organization come in and talk to the kids. And we had, you know, guys who had come directly out of high school. We had guys who had gone to trade school, gone to community college, guys who had been to the military and come out and then gone into the trades, guys who this was their second or third career mm -hmm. after they'd already started another career after going to a four-year college and decided that wasn't for them. So this was an opportunity for kids to see that not only are there more work than there are workers, so there's more opportunities within the trades, mm -hmm. uh, but also you don't necessarily have to make that decision right now. If this is something they really enjoyed, great, maybe this is for you. If it's not, cool, we've just saved you time and energy on a career you might not have actually enjoyed. And yeah. if it's something you feel like you can come back to later, even better. Yeah. Well, this event that you guys held uh, last week, uh, you said in an email, hey, it went off without a hitch. I mean, you guys, <laughs> you, I mean, we're, we're seeing some photos um, from the event. Of course, I said we had a reporter there, so we had some video of everything that you guys were doing. 66 students from nine area high schools. That is incredible on its own. What are the different things that they got to see? What were they shown? Yeah, so we kind of took them through the entire process uh, that one might actually have in terms of a daily, uh, you know, regimen that they're going through. So uh, we had an area that was about blueprints and planning and detailing and design okay. and actually the pre-construction side of things. Yeah. We went through some prefabrication, conduit bending, wire pulling, wiring actual circuits, arc flash suits, and some of the more highly energized things that we do. All completely, you know, un uncharged. Obviously, it's safe. Uh, but safety demonstrations. We dropped a, uh, a you know, a strut. Uh, through a watermelon and you know demonstrated hard hat awareness and wow. all these other things they all got to take home their own PPE so gloves and uh, and safety glasses so they're ready to go um, That's and yeah, awesome. keeping 66 high schoolers uh, entertained and on task for a full day was a yeah. challenge but they really pulled it off congratulations to you Thank for you. doing that <laughs> no honestly though this is the epitome of a hands-on experience that you were able to give these kids and I'm sure I mean it was amazing for a lot of them um, so it seems like uh, schools businesses they're starting Starting to do more um, as far as helping kids that might be interested in the trades um, to expose them to that. Uh, you said that you're going to be holding an event like this again. Uh, when do you think that'll happen? Is this going to maybe be an annual thing or are you going to try and do it more often than that? The goal is certainly for it to be annual. Sure. This is our inaugural event and I think we, we stuck with those nine high schools 
very selective in terms of the number of students and only to this side of the river because we weren't really sure how it was going to go and that was the easiest way to organize it. We're certainly hopeful that this becomes an annual event that we can expand it perhaps outside of the electrical trade to other trades to yeah. additional high schools to additional students. It doesn't necessarily have to get you know enormous right. but we want to keep that focused mentality of if there's something you want to do here's a full day it's better That's than great. 15 minutes at a job fair just kind of poking around a booth Fabulous. but we are hoping it expands. That is amazing. Uh, it's, it looked like it was a great day. Uh, if you're interested in uh, learning more about becoming an electrician or if you have a project that you need done, uh, you heard all about Shaw here at the, at the beginning of the segment, you can call Shaw Electric at 563-323-3611 or check them out online at shawelec.com. Julian, thank you so much for coming on the show today. Uh, it sounds like what you guys are doing is pretty cool. Well, thank you for having me. Yeah. We certainly think so. Um,